So I had this idea, how could I pack up the show and now be with Tina Turner? Really, it was the ultimate groupie story. So I did that at great expense to the show. We went around the country following Tina Turner, mainly so that I could go to Tina concerts every night in different cities. We built it around Tina's theme at the time, which was Wildest Dreams, created a Wildest Dreams tour, making Wildest Dreams come true for people. We got your bills. Ah! Here are your bills. Paid, 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 And I had a wig made so that I could be a part and close to Tina in wigdom. And then I wouldn't take the wig off. I did it for the show. I did it for the next show. I think we did five or six shows around the country. And uh, I started wearing it on the weekends. I started wearing it to bed. I started wearing it at all times. I would have on that Tina wig. And one day Stedman came and said to me, I don't know when somebody's going to tell you. Tell me what? Tell you that you are not Tina Turner. And uh, I said, I, 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 I don't know what you're talking about. He goes, well, it's a problem. It's become a problem. I think you think you're Tina Turner. And you really should really be happy being Oprah Winfrey. And I said, I really am. I'm happy being Oprah Winfrey. And he goes, well, well, you need to act like it. And so I uh, got rid of the, my Tina wigs, gave them all away. And uh, the producers think that that was a no better, do better moment. I don't necessarily agree. Truth of the matter is, I still like my Tina wig. I still like my Tina wig. If I had it right now, I'd put it on. But, you know, I, I don't feel like that was such a terrible thing to put on the Tina wig. Could I have a little happiness here? Could I just have a little moment? It was just a Tina wig. It was, I wasn't hurting anybody. I wasn't doing anything to cause any harm in the world. It was just me wearing a Tina wig. That's all.